uh, hello everyone so we can cover the rest of the building blocks which is a pipe guard and interceptors so pipe is important to validate the request pipes are used for transforming the data and validating the request payload so we will be just creating these uh, class validators I mean, we will be using the class validators to validate the data so here you can see uh, we are using the body so what we will do is this is HTTP post so we will be using validation pipe and here we have to create a DTO so let's see I have a user data DTO so in user we can create a new folder DTO So it will be a class user data DTO and uh, now we can define all the validation criteria for a particular attributes like what all it is going to accept so I'm just copying this for now and all these we will be getting from class validators in string Wait a second It's string from do we have class validator available? So we have to install it if we don't have. So class validator is used for validation and we can define that isn't is string is email is not empty all these validation criteria we can define and uh, this class validator this DTO will be importing from here. So this is export class let's see so we will be getting in string is end okay both the arguments now in the user controller we can import the user data DTO Okay, now what happens when you are hitting the post request to this then these attributes should be there first of all and it should do the validation criteria is string so you can say is not empty like this should never be empty I mean it should be some value similarly is not empty we can add here or consider that if you are also passing email In string and his email like all these criteria you can just add what happens here okay in string is email it's string yeah this is the validation criteria so it will be accepting a payload having all these four properties and it should satisfy these validation criteria okay so apart from the pipe, pipes we have a guards guards are nothing but uh, when you wanted to protect a particular route based on the role we have right so consider that uh, you have a particular role assigned and based on that role only you wanted to give access to a particular user then all the access control stuff can be can be passed to the guards and we can register these guards to our controllers so here we have a user controller so here we are using role guard right so in the role guard we can do all these kind of check currently I'm just uh, sending through but what you can do is you can access the request context from this context you can get the like const user equal to context get uh, 
HTTP type switch to HTTP and from here we can just get request so we got the request now now there may be some property exist okay request may have a user payload so here you can just check if we have a user and user dot role is equal equal to admin then only return true otherwise what you can do is mm, we can throw an, an exception unauthorized exception new http exception and here we will pass unauthorized exception so first is message and then unauthorized exception Wait a second, HTTP status code. Yeah, this should be fine, I think. Yeah, so this is the role guard we have created and we have provided the role guard to the controller. So all the base point is a controller. Either you create a uh, guard, either you create a exception filter. This is the place where you will be putting them like role guard. You can also register to do that to the app controller. Right, so this is how we can create a guards. Now, other thing is the interceptors. Interceptors are like uh, some extra logic which we are executing before and after the request. So if you wanted to check how much time this particular request has took, then you can just create these uh, logger interceptor printing the, the log time or you can also intercept a particular request response object what is coming and what is going so here I created some interceptor I think so this interceptor is just printing the time which is being consumed right and this is a logger interceptor this is another interceptor which is just logging what is the method what is the URL how much time you took and what is the class in which so it is using the Rx you can see the handle is giving us a stream so we are doing a pipe and tap is used, used just to print the information okay and how we are using these uh, interceptors using just like use interceptor logging interceptor and if you wanted to register these interceptor globally then I think uh, what we can do is f dot global use global filter use global interceptor and you can pass logging intercept logger interceptor Okay, you can import this. Grab uh, is declared here. I think it should be logging interceptor or what? I need to call this. Uh, yeah. You have to pass the object. Okay. Now this interceptor is applied globally. So it will be able to log your request accordingly. So these are a set of building blocks we talked about in the Nest CS. So in the coming videos, we will start creating the uh, featured module, logger modules, database modules. That is very important part now we'll be starting. First of all, we'll be just doing a Docker setup because we'll be using the MongoDB, MySQL and Node.js container. So it's better that we'll just do uh, the Docker Compose setup first.